Lana Quest. How are you? I am good. I am here. So yeah, me too. Welcome to the uh, welcome to Black and White with Brian Rundle and Lana Quest. We are back after a short show last week. Um, yeah. You know, we'll see what we can do this week, and uh, got certainly a lot of topics to talk about. We were just talking about adulting before the uh, the yeah. show started, and you know, That's... I had all kinds. Of, I mean, I had a very busy week, a very busy day, a very busy couple days. Mm. Um, so I had to scramble to kind of catch up on some of the news on everything that's going on, and. You know, certainly that's why I have such a great partner here, Lana, to help me out, you know, to straighten me out. And <laughs> she plays modest, but trust me, she, she I, I have to rely on her many, many times. Now, that's the good thing about having two people because, yep. you know, you can bounce off when it's just you. It's like we, what you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> exactly right. Now, that's the one thing. I will do my best to try to not talk about things I don't know. If I don't know about it, I'll tell you. <laughs> and so will Lana, um, you know. But I think we have a pretty good understanding of, for the most part, what's going on. Some of it makes sense. A lot of it does not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and before we get to the main story, speaking of things that make sense and things that don't, it was Easter weekend, as you mm -hmm. may know, uh, mm -hmm. which was on Sunday. And apparently on Sunday, it was also the trans uh, visibility right. day. Right. Um, and that caused a lot of stir with a lot of people. It, <sighs> I'm guessing it's the fake phony outrage they have about everything. Um, right. but it is my understanding, which I don't celebrate necessarily either one of them. Right, um, right. you know, I acknowledge Easter and I acknowledge transgender people, but I spent my day watching the NCAA <laughs> college basketball tournament. Right, right. So I was able to go through that day without losing my shit over something that really means absolutely nothing except for maybe a certain group of people that, you know, they don't feel, uh, like they are uh, seen and uh, whether or not that is true to you, it doesn't really matter Right? why somebody can't just wake up in the day and let their day go on. If you celebrate Easter, celebrate right. Easter, celebrate Jesus, have fun with your family. Right. If you don't and you are a transgender and you want to celebrate the transgender day, do that. Or you can watch fucking basketball like I did. Right. Cause there was a lot of it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you do anything for Easter? Do you celebrate Easter? No. It's a boring I holiday, to be honest with you. I don't even under. I grew up Jehovah's Witness. Like, it just. And I think there's something that goes on around this time there, like some type of big meeting. I, I hope they're not watching because I can't remember. Mm -hmm. They normally invite me. I didn't get an invite this year, so I don't know what's going on. Well, these but, are the topics that, again, I we just said, I don't talk about a lot of things I don't know about. I, don't um, know. <laughs> I can surmise on a few things. I, isn't Easter week, isn't that the weekend that Jesus hung out with the, the hooker? I, you know, yeah, I think. I don't Mary, Ma Mary Magdalene, right? That, yeah. I, I don't know. Oh right, let's God. stop. I let's stop talking. It. Yeah. Bunnies. I don't know. Somehow bunnies came into like Easter bunnies. I don't get it. I, it's the holiest week ever. I do know that. Well, again, you have um, Jesus is resurrected, right. but there's also a bunny involved, just like Jesus was born. And then there's a fat guy who goes around and goes in your chimney and leaves your presents. So, but again, I think they're all, the the they're all born from different, you know, uh, Christian. Bunny? This wasn't originally a oh. holiday to celebrate Jesus. Oh, see. It was something that was created in Germany, I believe. Saint Nick? Who's Saint Nick? If anybody knows in the comments, let us know. But um, here's one thing I do know. Okay, so let's get off the shit I really don't know a whole bunch <laughs> about. Here's what I do know. Because when I see shit like this, I see the fake and phony outrage. And I see just... And it's not just Lana, it's just not Christmas any, or Easter and the trans visibility day anymore. It's 
just people making up shit to get people angry. And every year I hear about the war on Christmas, the war on America, now the war on Easter. I am here to tell you there is only one war going on right now that I see. It is the war on intelligence. <laughs> fucking smart in this country anymore you have to be stupid in order to be part of this conversation yeah <laughs> and it drives me insane and we're losing lana we're losing big time in this war i don't know i just see maybe we are losing i i just see america fighting i see it as a struggle like i i see i i literally see it it's kind of a weird thing but i see like america struggling to go back to its roots and like democrats we're trying to progress america but as much as we try to progress it it's trying to regress and that's like the maga and that's what they want and i heard someone say this week he said two things. One thing he said was like, Trump has um, stolen Jesus's identity, like hijacked him from his for his identity. <laughs> like, which well, is, he compares himself to Jesus all yeah, the time, right? Which is so true. And then like J six was like when you know you have white supremacy just kind of overtook the church. And that's what they did anyway. Like, you know, back in the day, that's what happens. Like white supremacists kind of inject into the church and make some type of something that would divide. And that's how they said they use, you know, have always used abortion as like a divider in the church. It's like, you know, you don't want anyone to vote for Democrats to be for Democrats. So you introduce Democrats are killing babies, right? So then you have a, like all these Christians are like, oh, excuse me, they're killing babies? And you know what I mean? Like it just creates an issue that's really not an issue and never has been an issue. So it's like they awaken the sleeping giant again. I don't know. It's well, really I mean, different. you know, you're right. I mean, it's just shit that they, they manufacture to keep people angry, just like the Trans Visibility Day. Right. If you haven't heard this by now, that the Trans Visibility Day has always been on March 31st, but it's being reported not, you know, on side shows like ours. It's being reported on a national news channel that Joe Biden, they are outraged that Joe Biden named this day, which even if he did, which he did not, even if he did, I'm not really sure. I, what do I need to be angry about? The only reason I can think of is because they look at transgender people as deviants and demons and perverts and people that are not like them. But Even though a lot of people, you're right, they're not like them because they correct. are the ones that are out here doing the dirty deeds with the children. <laughs> like that's exactly right. And see what, but what is Lana? I don't know what is. Maybe something is wrong with me, and I, I'm I'm willing to now admit that. Why do I not get angry over? a trans visibility day? Why do I not get angry over a football player kneeling for the national anthem? Why do I not get angry about this stuff that other people in my estimation are pretending to get extremely right. angry over right. because they need to drive home a point? I, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm willing to learn now because maybe I'm wrong. Right. Right. I don't know. It's like they need something. It's like, you know, I don't know. I guess when you're like failing in life, like you just have nothing going for you, you have to stick it to the libs. Like you have to have a win. And to them, maybe that puts them in a win column. It gets them with the, the cool kids over there, the MAGAs. Like, you know, if you want to be a MAGA, you have to be an asshole. Like, you just truly do. <laughs> you can't even talk to these people anymore. I heard someone say, you know, in order for our country to progress, you know, we have to learn to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. That would be true. Yeah. Dems would ask Democrats, because we're talking about politics right now, Democrats would absolutely talk to Republicans. If they weren't MAGA, you can't talk to MAGA. They don't listen. You can't talk to anyone who is so steeped in conspiracy theory 
theories and lies. Like, how do you talk to that person? It, it's like talking. I would prefer to fucking talk to a brick than a MAGA. I, I would too. And, you know, here's the thing. And this is something that we are cognizant of. They look at us like we're the yeah. ones who will not talk to them, that we are so entrenched in our beliefs and our thoughts, which in a, in a sense we are. I mean, and I think everybody should be believed in their thoughts and, 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 and their belief based on like just facts and reality and kindness and love and, and all that stuff. Uh, they're, it's, to me, they're, they're in it through just anger and you're not like me. And I hate that. Be I hate this because of you. And then they hide their language and they use other ways to get angry and call, you know, uh, people names to replace the N word or whatever, you know, it's just, I don't know. And I, I, I just can't figure out why, you know, we're living in a world right now, we're living in a country where we just let slide by that a guy that is running for the United States presidency retweets a guy driving a truck mm -hmm. with a photo of Joe Biden in the back of his truck, hogtied. I'm not sure. Some people says it looks like there's a bullet hole in his head. And, you know, if that were just some one-off and you just saw it, you'd be like, that guy's a fucking idiot and I hope something awful happens to him. But when you have a guy who's running for the presidency of the United States and he's doing this and then now we're just going to take our news and, you know, it's just, all right, but we still need to talk about the polls and we still need to talk about Donald Trump's policies and what does he want to do for America? You lost me. I don't know what to do. I, I, what, some, again, that's where I say something's wrong with me. Now, your answer saying that... Um, they do it to hang out with the cool kids in the MAGA. The good news is you haven't lost me if that's the case. because mm -hmm. I, that, That's something I'm not interested in. But if anybody else can come up with anything, I, I, I'm i now willing. You've got me. You're now, I'm now willing to listen. I'm still listening. You know, I, I used to love Bill Maher. And I'm hearing he is still doing diatribes about COVID and the vaccine. And I'm like... Are what are we doing? Okay, that let's say help. how does that help anything? I don't know. Let's say you figured it out. Okay, let's say you're right, Bill. The COVID came, it was an attack from China, uh, and the CDC was wrong, and everything that you're saying is exact. Now what? Now what? Now what did what what did you what are you winning by saying this every fucking week? Right, right. I don't get this. It's just driving Trump me the insane. President. Like, so I don't even understand because Trump was the president. So why are we talking about it? Like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know I'm either. I'm, I'm over well, that. again, it was beyond Trump being the president. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, you've just got people whose whole life is wrapped up that the CDC might have got some things wrong about the vaccine, about how they handled it. And they kept people home from school and they had, and again, I don't even know if what they're saying is right, but let's say they are. What, what, like what, what, why are we still talking about this? What's the end game here? I'm so confused about that because I mean, how is that wrong? Did they get everything right? not maybe they kept them home too long right maybe i don't know because i'd rather my children be fucking safe than dead like that's what i would rather because what they were waiting for was herd immunity and we couldn't get herd immunity with the fucking idiots running around telling a large swath of Americans not to get vaccinated. Right. So we can never get herd immunity. Who wants to send your kids out, especially kids who live with their grandparents or sick parents? Like, why are we forgetting that millions of people died? Like, why are we overlooking that to say, Oh, CDC made some mistakes. Excuse me. Millions of people died. Like, why wouldn't you want things to be shut down? That's very bizarre to me. Well, you hit the nail on the head. It is clear that 
millions of people died. And the ones that did not get the vaccine, there were many stories of these people <coughs> literally on their deathbeds begging right. for the vaccine. And right. they said, well, it's fine. there's nothing we can do now. We gave you the opportunity. We gave right. you many opportunities. You said no, because you listened mm -hmm. to some fucking moron mm -hmm. instead of listening to doctors and scientists. And now you're fucking dead. Yeah. Yeah. Herman Cain. Herman Cain. Went, went, went to that Trump MAGA rally. Because yep. Trump was out here. And that's, oh my God. That, uh. Chris Christie yeah. almost died. Yeah, MAGA, uh, they, they really dumb. Like, seriously, y'all are just dumb. I can't even not say y'all are just dumb because I know and guarantee that MAGA will go into these rallies. You, I, I wish we could tell how many MAGAs died, right? Yep. You know people in their families died, but they're probably saying it wasn't COVID. <laughs> I, I've said this one COVID. a million times. Do you know anybody that died from COVID? Yes. <laughs> Do you know anybody that died from the vaccine? No. <laughs> Haven't met one person. No. One. Not even that they died. I don't know one person that's had adverse effects from the vaccine. No. Now, there are stories, and I'm sure somebody did not take well to the vaccine, just like every right. vaccine right. invented. Right. But- you know, now I'm pissed off because we're talking about the vaccine and I'm mm. pissed off that people are still talking about the vaccine. They've got me and you talking about it. And it's just so fucking stupid that I just can't. I I, I don't even know what to do anymore. I, I really wish I could just ask Bill Maher one question. Now what? OK, you win. Let's say you're right about everything. Now what? What is the... What do you want? Uh, just go back Nobody in a time machine. Like he did it and Coulter. Like, let's move on. Let's yeah, Bill you're Maher. right. He did it in a culture. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Fuck Bill Maher is correct. 